new ones ready to go in. Let's push it through the hole. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is all about that running toilet and how to catch it, fix it. It's a little bit different though. Uh, the flapper mechanism. Most people can handle your standard flapper. It has the chain that goes up and down. Just pop it on, the little nubs, pop it off, pop it in. Well, today I have a customer who is a DIYer. I gotta get you new shocks. I'm bouncing like crazy. Um, anyways, back to their toilet. They've got a toilet that's running. They couldn't catch it. So they went to Home Depot and bought a replacement flapper kit for their style of toilet. They get home, they start reading the directions, and it says, you must remove the tank. And they're like, damn, this isn't like the other toilets in the house. You just have the flapper. Uh, so they called me up and said, Mr. Handyman, can you come fix my running toilet? I already bought the part. I don't feel comfortable taking the tank off to replace the, the mechanism that seals the tank and goes up when you flush it. One other thing, been getting a lot of questions you make all this money doing these ridiculously expensive remodels why are you still out there replacing toilet flappers well I've got another YouTube channel called the handyman business I'm gonna do a full video just about the business of fixing toilets if you're curious about why replacing toilet flappers is so important to my business you should go over there and watch it I'll put a link in the description. Okay, I just got here and I'm just looking at the parts that they, they, the customer has purchased. So we've got a new handle, a new flapper. I haven't even looked inside the tank yet. I still don't even know for sure if this is the right part to repair it. Now the water is already turned off. The customer turned it off. And what I am seeing is an exact replacement so here's what we got this is how this this works here and they got an exact perfect replacement which makes my job easy there are some things that could come up this toilet is from 1994 there is this screw and this screw and when I take that off there's a rubber washer under there that is probably disintegrated so I'm already thinking I'm gonna to have to go get some new rubber washers this is the other side of that screw that you saw inside the tank we have a, a nut and a nylon washer here's the other side I'm not seeing any rust on here so this should come off real easy now there is about a good inch and a half of water in here that you can't get to drain into the bowl just by lifting up the uh, the flapper. Uh, so you gotta soak it up. Some people use a shop vac. I just don't wanna deal with putting water in my shop vac. So I got some of these rags. It's only gonna take me a minute or two. Keep in mind, this, is, this water here is the same water that comes out of your faucet. This is not toilet water, toilet bowl water. So don't be afraid of the water that's in your tank. It's the same water that you drink and cook with. I'm already noticing that the uh, there's some. This is is this this black rubber gasket here, this cone-shaped gasket. The one that's in the tank is disintegrating. That's that's the water that came out of there, and all that black is from that uh, that gasket there disintegrating. Now I'm going underneath and taking those two nuts off and then I'll take off the supply line and this whole tank will pop out. Now there's another gasket that goes between the tank and the bowl that I'm also going to pick up when I head off to the store to get those rubber washers. Um, these are some of the things that your, your average homeowner uh, won't know about and probably won't replace and it could lead to leaks in the future. 
So I'm going to pull this off and show you what that other rubber gasket looks like. It's probably been very compressed uh, for the last 20 some years. Just putting a fresh one in here, you'll get another 20 years out of this toilet. So this area here, this line here, yeah, that's some, some nasty business right there. Um, this here, you don't get poop up in here. It's just, just tap water. But this is the other gasket that I was telling you about. Don't be tempted to reuse this. See how that's already really squished out? If in emergency, you probably could get by reusing this. As you can see, um, this is the nut here that comes off on the new version. And this one here uh, isn't in the shape of a nut, but it's got a little, some bumps on it that you can get a wrench on it. Now I'm gonna pull these screws out and you can see this one is white, completely disintegrating. And this is, this is what I want to replace. You can see how it gets squished down and makes a watertight seal so the water doesn't, doesn't leak out. This ring here, which essentially is this, uh, it's not on there too tight. And well, actually, I had my, my pliers ready or my monkey wrench ready to put on there, but it, it was pretty much just hand tight. So the tank's just laying on its side, and now this piece just comes right out. It's going to disconnect this hose here. Like I said, this whole piece here I'm also going to replace just because I have the toilet torn apart and this is doesn't cost hardly anything. There's your old one. New one's ready to go in. Let's push it through the hole. The old one somewhat fell apart, the handle just fell right off. Something to note is uh, it's reverse threads on this, so it's not righty tighty lefty loosey. To spin it off, you turn it clockwise. Got our new fill valve. It's, uh, it's adjustable for different depths of your tank. It's this cone-shaped rubber gasket. It goes right down in the hole. Make sure you center it. Nylon nut, plastic nut. Just hand tighten this. You don't need to put a wrench on this. This kit here replaces everything uh, that the homeowner didn't get the first time. The gasket between the tank and the bowl comes with new bolts and new rubber washers. I've flushed this so, I don't know how many times, a lot of times. And I'm looking for drips uh, that would come from these bolts. 
around the edge here and that that new gasket that black gasket that goes in there uh, flush 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 and just look for any sign of water you guys see any First, there might be a drip on there from just all the all the water stuff well after several flushes uh, just to test for leaks you don't want to leave and have it leaking didn't really need to adjust the water level you can there's a, it's real simple you just turn this dial on the the flush valve if you want to raise or lower the water level this is a billion dollar industry the toilet repair industry if you're interested in knowing more about that i'm going to do a little talk about why i repair toilets on my other youtube channel called the handyman business that's it for this video click that like button go watch some of my other videos something here and something here one is uh one that i'm going to recommend and one is one that YouTube recommends. So go see what those are all about. Goodbye.